Like I can't wallow in the fact that I don't have arms and legs because there's nothing that I could ever do to change the, the outcome. I like to have a challenge and, and be able to kind of overcome that challenge. It's not weird that I go to the gym. Anybody can, can work out if they want to. If you just try something new, you never know what could happen. My parents found out that I was going to be missing all of my limbs once I was born. I can remember being a young kid and you know, you get like stares or a lot of questions or that sort of thing. I'm sure it maybe looked unique to people, but for me it was normal and it was the way I always did things. I have two older siblings and I can remember, you know, playing outside in the backyard or we have a, a cottage in Chester and we swam there, we boated, we did all sorts of stuff. When I was really young, I wore prosthetic arms and prosthetic legs. I no longer wear prosthetic arms for everyday use because I had a pair once that just kept like breaking. <laughs> I started doing stuff without them and realized that I could do a lot of things faster or easier, so I just kind of got used to it. From a very young age, I was swimming and learned to ski, and I also started playing rugby in high school. That was the only one that I continued on with, and I still play today. So we're gonna do some cleans, some squats. Lindsay was really great and really easy to work with because she'd just show up with some chains or some hooks or some straps and say like, let's try this. I've taken just regular equipment and adapted it for myself. So they make lifting hooks that just help uh, with your grip strength. I have like a whole bunch of things that have to take place in order for me to do cleans, but I like doing cleans so it doesn't seem like a chore. My deadlift one rep max is about 170. My squat is about 155. And my clean is 100 pounds, which is almost my body weight. I'm definitely a competitive person. And that's why CrossFit appeals to me more than, you know, maybe some traditional gyms is because there's local competitions and there's competitions like all over the world and all over the states. So you can always be kind of competing. Even if you're just competing with yourself, there's like a clock on and you're trying to do something as fast as possible. I did a competition not too long ago and it was great. I contacted the gym ahead of time to say, listen, I'm gonna need a few adaptations. Like I won't be able to do all of the workouts exactly as they're laid out. And you know, they also talked to the coaches at my gym to say like, is it fair? You know, you don't want to have an advantage over somebody else because I'm scaling the workouts down too much, but and that was very well received. I mean, I didn't come first. Maybe if I had come first, they'd have more things to say, but it was my first formal competition, so to come not last was great. It's a very encouraging atmosphere. Even though it's a very competitive atmosphere, there's always people cheering for each other. Lindsay's achievements have been really, really great so far. Over the last year, she's gone from not even having a way to do pull-ups to now busting out pull-ups one after the other, handstands, cleans, Olympic weightlifting. In terms of her attitude, same as any other athlete, she comes in and whines and complains about whatever the workout is up on the board, mopes around a little bit, doesn't want to get into the warm-up. <laughs> right now, I'm really trying to get to the gym at least five times a week, really focus on my nutrition. So I am trying to step up my game. A video of me doing a workout kind of went viral, I'll say. It got like seven million views or something like that, which was crazy. I did get like a lot of positive responses from that. I do post videos of me doing things because it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna try this and maybe that will motivate somebody in a similar situation to, to try something. It seems like now I know not to 
think that she's not going to be able to do something. She always sort of thought skipping was something she was never going to do, so she was going to be disappointed, and then uh, now she learned how to skip, so she's going to find a way to do whatever she wants to do. If I had been scared or thought, oh, it's not for me, there's no way I can do this, like honestly, my life would be so different. I think it's just kind of taking it one day at a time, trying to be proficient in, in as many movements as I can, and then just kind of do competitions as I, as I want to. As long as I'm still having fun competing, then I'm going to continue to compete. I think it's really easy once you get to know Lindsay to completely forget that there's any adaptations at all because she just goes after it like anyone else. She is an athlete and she pushes it and she works hard every time. And we're all super proud of her here. I guess my main message that I'm trying to kind of share with people is to, to just try. You shouldn't let the fear of the unknown hold you back. So I always say like, just try, just try.